Imagine a world where your coffee machine starts brewing just as you think about needing a caffeine boost. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi novel. Welcome back to We and Our and hold on to your coffee cup because today we're stepping into the astonishing universe of mind reading using AI. Yes, you heard that right, an AI that can tap into your thoughts. Let's discuss the technology behind this astounding concept and its jaw-dropping potential. If you're as amazed as we are, remember to give this video a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button for more groundbreaking content. Let's get started. New research at UT shows it's possible for artificial intelligence to read your mind without being invasive. Where researchers have used AI to translate brain scans into text. The ultimate goal of this field is to help restore communication to people who have lost the ability to speak. In May 2023, the University of Texas at Austin made a groundbreaking discovery. They developed a device that can translate a person's brain activity into a stream of text. At the same time, Meta, the social media giant, unveiled a similar technology. They showcased an AI capable of analyzing a person's brain waves in real time and accurately predicting the subject of their visual focus. This is akin to mind reading, where generative AI is used to create a telepathy device. While these technologies are exciting, they also raise privacy concern. However, they hold immense potential for helping those unable to communicate due to illness or injury. Although we're not yet at the level of the minority report, the ability to interpret brainwaves is a significant step in that direction. In today's video, we'll explore all these developments in detail. We'll start with the mind-reading AI developed by the university and then move on to Meta's groundbreaking initiatives. Prepare for an eye-opening journey. The University of Texas team, led by Jerry Tang and Alexander Huth, published their findings in the Journal of Nature Neuroscience. They developed a non-invasive language decoder, a significant advancement in their field. Earlier versions of language decoders were limited, often recognizing only a few words or phrases. However, Tang and his team's device can reconstruct continuous language from perceived imagined speech and even silent videos. While Neuralink offers an invasive approach with more precise data, the UT Austin team's method is less risky. Their semantic decoder analyzes brain recordings obtained through fMRI, which stands for Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging, and reconstructs a person's thoughts into natural language. Non-invasive methods like fMRI have their challenges. One significant drawback is their temporal resolution, meaning how quickly they can capture changes in brain activity. To overcome this, the team developed an encoding model to predict how the brain reacts to natural language. They recorded brain responses while subjects listened to 16 hours of spoken narratives. They created a model of the brain's response to various word sequences by extracting semantic features and applying linear regression. It's uh, basically a model that has been trained with uh, over 15 hours of data per person to take in their brain activity when they're sitting in an MRI scanner and to spit out the story that they're listening to. To ensure grammatical correctness in the decoded words, they integrated a generative neural network language model using an earlier version of GPT. An innovative beam search algorithm was used to generate word sequences incrementally. Starting with the most likely sentences, it builds upon them as it processes new brain activity, creating more potential continuations. This method helps retain the most probable sequences at each step. When someone hears or thinks of a word like apple, the decoder captures the associated brain activity. Then, as the person thinks of more words, the algorithm uses learned associations to create a sequence that reflects the original thought's meaning. For example, if someone thinks, I ate an apple, the algorithm might generate, I consumed a fruit. The team also tested their system with imagined speech. Participants thought of stories while undergoing fMRI scans, and the decoder successfully identified the narrative's content and significance. The researchers also explored cross-modal decoding, a significant step for non-invasive brain-computer interfaces. 
they incorporated motor features and participant feedback to enhance the decoding process. Even when somebody is seeing a movie, you can kind of the model can kind of predict uh, word descriptions of what they're seeing. Now let's talk about Meta's contribution, which on October 18th, 2023, took the research to new heights. Meta used MEG technology, a different non-invasive neuroimaging technique, to develop an AI system that decodes visual brain representations in real time. This includes three components, an image encoder, a brain encoder, and an image decoder. They trained their AI using a data set of MEG recordings, and the results were fascinating. The research showed that brain signals closely align with AI systems like Dino V2, which learns imagery autonomously. This synchronization between AI and the human brain can be used to generate images similar to what participants see. Meta's AI can somewhat read minds, interpreting what people look at. These advancements open up incredible possibilities. For instance, people with communication difficulties could benefit immensely. Imagine controlling smartphones and devices with your thoughts alone. Next Sense, a project from Alphabet's X division, is developing earbuds that can capture brain signals, potentially diagnosing and monitoring brain conditions. While these technologies are exciting, they also raise privacy concerns. Imagine a world where companies like Meta or Google know what you're seeing and what you're thinking, all for targeted advertising or influencing public opinion. It's a thought-provoking scenario that brings us closer to the Minority Report era. For mind-reading technology to evolve, it must become more accurate and capable of understanding subtleties and thoughts. True telepathy, however, remains a concept of fiction for now. The scientific community is buzzing with excitement over these developments. Dr. Alexander Huth expressed his amazement at the performance of their semantic decoder. Professor Tim Behrens from Oxford praised the study for its ability to decode thoughts and dreams, offering new insights into subconscious brain activity. So, what we have here is AI deciphering human thoughts into coherent language and images, albeit in controlled settings. The technology is still in its early stages, with bulky equipment and demanding training processes. But as with all tech, improvement is inevitable. For people with physical disabilities, these technologies could be life-changing. However, there's also the risk of misuse by corporations. Let's take a moment to ponder the ethical implications of this technology. Imagine a future where your thoughts are no longer private. This raises a myriad of ethical questions. For instance, should there be regulations on how and when this technology can be used? Could it be used in courtrooms to determine the truth? Or in a more dystopian scenario, could employers use it to screen employees? Furthermore, think about the impact of this technology on human interaction. In a world where thoughts can be translated into text or images, could we lose some of the nuances of human communication? Imagine a conversation where we read each other's thoughts instead of speaking. While this might seem efficient, it could also strip away elements like tone of voice, facial expressions, and body language, which are essential to communicating and understanding each other. What are your thoughts on this? Do you see this as a positive development or should such technology remain in the realm of science fiction? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And remember to like, share and subscribe We and Our for more mind expanding content. Check out our website weandour.com for more on this and other fascinating topics. The link is in the description below. The possibilities of AI are endless and we're just beginning to explore them. Stay curious and connected. We'll catch you in our next video. Until then, keep your minds open and your imaginations running wild. See you next time. This is a image of a giraffe that the computer has never seen. And this is what the computer thinks the human is seeing. What?